Bible question of the day. If you need to accept Jesus to get into heaven, does that mean uncontacted tribes go to hell because they don't even know that a man named Jesus existed? That's the question. I'm going to read it one more time. If you need to accept Jesus to get into heaven, does that mean that uncontacted tribes go to hell because they don't even know that a man named Jesus existed? So we're going to look at the scriptures. We're going to go to Revelation. We're going to go to Revelation 5 verse 9. So in 5 verse 9 it says, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. So we're going to look at the definition of kindred in the Strong's lexicon here. So let's go to the lexicon and we're going to look at kindred G5443. And under this definition of kindred, you see, it says tribe. So kindred is tribe. So we see a tribe here, and we see in the New Testament, all the person descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. So we see this tribe of Jacob, and then we see a nation or people. And we see here an offshoot, for example, a race or clan, kindred, tribe. So now we know that represents tribe. We're going to go back here, and now we're going to look at Revelation 14 verse 6. And in Revelation 14, 6 says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and end kindred and tongue and people. It didn't say some nations. It said every single nation. It didn't say some tribes. It says every single tribe. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go see when this happened. We're going to go to, actually, let's look at the cross-reference here. And it's going to take us let's look at preach here you see where it says mark uh 16 15 and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Not some, but every creature. So we're going to look at the cross reference to Mark. And this is where we're going to look at here. You see where it says Romans 10 18? You see where it says, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Not some, not a few, but every creature. No one was left out. So let's go to Romans 10, 18. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the context. We're going to go up from Romans. Let's go to Romans. And we're going to start at Romans 6. Let's go to 6 and we're going to read down the 18. So in Romans 6 it says, But the righteousness which is of faith, of faith, speaketh on this wise, say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart. That is the word of faith, which we preach. That if thou shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So we're going to go back to the question here. It says, does that mean uncontacted tribes going to hell because they don't even know that a man named Jesus existed? Uncontacted tribes. But Romans is saying, and how shall they hear without a preacher? somebody who did not hear so watch this because 
we're looking at that question. They're uncontacted tribes. So Romans 10, 15 is going to tell you that they all heard. Let's read it. And how shall they preach except they be sent as it is, as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Now watch this. But they have, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. You see, that's very important. They have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Now, this is the key here. Romans 10, 18. But I say, have they not heard? That's the question. Because this is the question they're asking. Uncontacted tribes, they did not hear. And Romans says, but I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went out into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. So Romans 10 tells us that this word was preached throughout all the earth. There was no uncontacted tribes because the word was preached throughout all the world. And this is what Romans is saying. Have they not heard? That's the question. He said, yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. They heard the gospel and their words unto the ends of the world. So there is not one con uncontacted tribe according to the scripture. So I'm going to give you one more example of God's very own people who had the word of God and have fallen from the word of God. So just say any tribe that does not know Jesus is because they have fallen from what the ancestors were taught from this time here back when Jesus sent out his disciples through all the earth, just like his very own people who have fallen from the truth. So we're going to go to the book of Daniel. So I can show you from the scriptures what happens to someone who have heard the word, but have fallen or disobeyed the word. So let's look at that. We're going to go to, um, we're going to go to the book of Daniel and we're going to look at Daniel chapter 8 verse 9 let's look at that we're going to read down to 12 and out of one of them came forth a little horn which waxed exceedingly great toward the south and toward the east and toward the pleasant land and it waxed great even to the host of heaven and it cast down some of the hosts and of the stars to the ground and stamped upon them yeah he magnified himself even to the prince of hosts, and by him the daily sacrifice was taken away, and the place of his sanctuary was cast down. And a host was given, given him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression. And it came and it cast down the truth to the ground, and it practiced and prospered. So let's go down to the cross references here of Daniel 8.12. And we're going to look at here where it says, and it cast the truth down to the ground. Okay. So when the gospel is preached, the gospel of truth is what people have received. But God's very own people who had the truth had fallen from the truth. So just like these tribes here, just because they may not have the truth is because they have fallen from the truth. Because the truth, the gospel of the kingdom was preached throughout the earth as Romans told us. Every tribe, kindred, and tongue, and nation. So here, where it says it cast the truth down to the ground in the book of Daniel, God's very own people had fallen from the truth. So we're going to go here and let's read these scriptures here. Psalms 119.43 And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth. For I have hoped in thy judgments. Psalm 19, 14, 119, 14. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Isaiah 59, 14. And judgment is turned away backward. You see what happened? Judgment has been turned away backward, and justice standeth afar off. For truth is fallen in the street, and equity cannot enter. Now this is where this is where you can see in the New Testament, Second Thessalonians two ten through twelve, 
and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth. They did not receive it when the truth was preached to them, the gospel of the kingdom in Romans. They did not receive it that they might be saved. And for this cause, God sent, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned to believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So that is your answer. If you need to accept Jesus to get into heaven, does that mean uncontacted tribes go to hell because they don't even know that a man named Jesus existed? And your answer is in 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 through 12. Because the truth, the gospel of the kingdom in Romans was preached to every tribe, kindred, and nation. And this is what happened to those who don't even know he exists. They have fallen from the truth.